Hey guys, do you like boozy scents? Do you like tobacco scents? Do you like a boozy tobacco? If so, I have the perfect fragrance for you. We're going to review New York Blues from Sensual Obsessions. Before we begin, I want to remind you guys, while you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It helps out the channel. Ring the bell for notifications so you get notified when I have a new video coming up. And if you see anything in the video that you like, please give it a like. Okay, let's get into the review. Again, I am reviewing New York Blues from Sensual Obsessions. Now, Sensual Obsessions is going to be a clone house from the United States located in Florida. They do ship internationally. This was something I didn't mention in my previous review, but yes, they will ship to you anywhere in the world. So um, don't think that if you're across the pond or something like that, you can't get your hands on this stuff. You absolutely can. All right. They also, I believe, have some inspired by fragrances as well. So they're not natural clones. They may be like a mix of something or and something else but anyway they make really good stuff and today we're talking New York Blues now I do want to start off by letting you guys know they do use a 33% oil concentration this is a heavy oil concentration most places like in the designer world when you're talking like a designer EDP they're using 15 maybe 18% oil sometimes 20 but Central Obsessions uses 33%, so more of the good stuff, less of the alcohol, which burns off faster. Okay, so I got a decant sent to me from Central Obsessions. They're nice glass decants with nice atomizers. It even has the, the date that it was made on there. Kind of hard to see in the camera. Uh, really nice attention to detail on the atomizers. I did do a first impressions of all the decants. I will put the card to that somewhere up here, wherever it pops up. And let's go ahead and talk New York Blues. Okay, New York Blues is going to be a clone of Mason Margiela's Jazz Club. If you've smelled Jazz Club, which I have not, you'll probably like this. Now, what they do over at Central Obsessions is they don't, um, they do use the same ingredients, the same notes in their clones, but they will tweak the amount. So you might have a little bit more rum, you might have a little bit more vanilla, a little bit less of this, more of that, and it kind of makes a little bit more of a unique scent. So it's not just like 100% spot on. It has a little more, it's like a clone with originality, and that makes sense. I really dig it. Probably one of my favorite clone houses right now. Okay, so let's go over this. Mason Margiela's Jazz Club. You're going to pay anywhere in the ballpark of like $100 to $150, I believe, for a bottle of that. Whereas uh, you can get a 30 mil from Central Obsessions for, I believe, $35 and a 50 mil for $55. So you do the math. You're saving a ton of money and you're getting... A high oil concentration in this. All right, let's go over the note breakdown of New York Blues. New York Blues is going to consist of top notes of pink pepper, neroli, and lemon. Your heart is going to have rum, clary sage, and vetiver, and your base will have tobacco leaf, vanilla bean, and styrax. Now, this one is actually has a couple of my very favorite things in it. It has booze, it has rum, booze, and it has tobacco, which I am like a, like I am a fiend for tobacco notes. I don't know what it is. I just love the scent. This, it is an amazing scent. I, when I first did my initial impressions, this was one that really stuck out to me. It was one of my favorites, but I kind of put it off wearing it because it's like, I'll let the anticipation build, if that makes sense. This one, a little puff of the air. Really good atomizer on these decans. Smells 
heavenly, heavenly, heavenly. This is, um, like I said, this is a combination of some of my favorites uh, with the booze and the tobacco. On the top, I don't pick up a whole lot of lemon. I'm guessing that's pretty dialed down. I do hit that neroli and a little bit of the pepper. Not a whole lot of pink pepper, just, you know, a little bit. It's not real heavy, but even on the opening, I pick up the heart. And the main player in that heart that I'm picking up is the rum. You get that really nice, rummy, boozy scent that just smells amazing. It's something you would find in a jazz club or New York blues, maybe like a New York style jazz club. It smells phenomenal. I love the rum note in this. It's done to perfection in my opinion. Do pick up a little bit of that clary sage mixing with the rum. And of course, during your dry down is where I think I like it the most because you don't lose the rum. The rum stays there, but the tobacco leaf comes out. So you have a mix of tobacco and a mix of rum. It smells like you are literally in some sort of like old school, old style jazz club. It smells phenomenal. It's very, very nice. Uh, the times to wear this, I would say fall and winter. You could wear anything you want any time of the year, of course. Maybe you could wear this uh, like an evening, maybe for like an evening out in the summertime, but I think it's really going to shine in the fall and winter. So buy it right now. Don't, buy, don't wait. Buy it now. And so the main players that I can really pick up from the opener, you're going to have that rum that dry down you're going to have the rum mixing with the tobacco and you do get a pinch of that vanilla the vanilla is not like super like super vanilla y super sweet or anything like that but it does give everything a really smooth finish just smooths it out really really nice uh, kind of like a really nice uh glass of uh, rum or brandy or something you know the more expensive it is the smoother it is I guess it goes down better I think that's how the vanilla is playing with the rum and the tobacco notes in this one where it's just a hint not super sweet just gives it that smoothness and all in all like I said they it mixes two of my favorites tobacco and booze and I love it it is phenomenal definitely a must-have must get your hands on it uh, and for the price i mean you can't beat the price now i'm going to do my rating system on this one again um i'm still i guess fine tweaking the rating system because it's a little bit new to me i've only done it a couple times but i'm going to go ahead and rate new york blues of course my rating system is completely subjective could be totally different than what you would put it's just kind of what i like my thoughts on it that kind of thing so um it's officially unofficial so on the presentation i don't have a full presentation to show but hey i do love the decants they're glass they have really nice atomizers on them they look good i love the labels the labels are attention to detail they're designed you have the name you have the the date that it was made the manufacturing date and the photographs from the bottles i've seen on the website i do like the style i like the look and i really think those style of bottles fit this scent really well so i'm going to kind of have to guess on the presentation but if i had to say i'm going to give it an eight because i do like the way it looks i like the way it's presented on the scent this is where like I immediately gave it a 10 out of 10. Now, I typically don't do something like that. And when I was coming up with the scent, I was like, 10 out of 10, bam, it's a 10 out of 10. And then I thought to myself, wait, I can't give it a 10 out of 10. It, it can't be that. I'm going to have to give it something lower. So I started thinking what could reduce it from a 10 out of 10. And I couldn't think of anything. So it is a 10 out of 10. And of course, that is totally subjective. That's because it's what I like. It has tobacco, it has booze, it's a little bit of sweet, it's smooth. It's exactly what I love. So for me, it is a 10 out of 10 scent. The performance on this one is killer. And I didn't mention the performance, but it is very, very good. I did my regular three around the neck, one on the chest, 
and I got three, four hours of pretty solid projection out of this. We're talking not filling a room, but that's not what you're looking for with this style of fragrance, but it very strong projector. Uh, not filling a room, but people can smell you from a few feet away, and the longevity is 12 plus hours. I put this on, and I was still smelling it, wafting off of my skin when I went to shower 12 hours later. So I don't know how long it's going to go, but I can tell you on my skin anyway, it went for 12 hours, and that's why I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 on the performance. Anything with a 12 hour plus project, anything with 12 hour plus longevity is pretty much going to be a 10 out of 10. And for me, that's just kind of the way I roll. And the value on this. Okay, so Jazz Club from Mason Margiela, you're spending over a hundred dollars. I think probably, I think it's like 150, 160 ish, maybe 200. I'm not for sure. Uh, this, you can get a 30 mil for uh, 35, you can get a 50 mil for 55, and with that killer performance, you don't have to spray a lot, so the bottle's going to last a while, and you're getting a 10 out of 10 scent with 10 out of 10 performance, so I had to give it a 10 out of 10 on the value. Um, this is the highest I've rated anything in my like four times I've rated stuff, but that's where it's at right now for me. So that's going to give it a total total score of 9.5. Holy crap, that is higher than <laughs> anything that I've given. In fact, I looked at it, I was like, I can't give it a 9.5. That's just, that's too high. And I'm like one of those college professors that doesn't like to give an A, I guess. But uh, yeah, I, I kept looking at my numbers, I kept thinking about it, and yeah, I have to stick with 9.5. It is that good for me, it's my style, it's boozy, it's tobacco, it lasts forever, and yeah, I'm going to go with a 9.5 for the overall. So, definitely a fantastic fragrance from Sensual Obsessions. Again, they do ship around the world. And now is the time to get your hands on it because it's fall, and this is going to be perfect for the fall and the winter season. Okay, guys, I appreciate you watching this review. If you saw anything you liked, please give it a thumbs up. Give me a like, help my video out, and help the channel out by subscribing and ringing the bell for notifications. And I will catch you guys with the next fragrance review. Thanks for watching.